First topic, <laughs> NBA 2K18 is the worst 2K of all time. No, yeah. <laughs> all right, next one. <laughs> topic number two, 2K16 is the greatest 2K of all time. Okay. I need to talk to you. Uh-oh. Yeah, What's your favorite 2K? Favorite 2K? Yeah. I'm about to go 15. I disagree with your opinion because 16 was fun, but I just feel like it wasn't like, it wasn't like as fun as 15. Even though 15 had the demo guys and all stuff running around the park, it was fun because it was you know, like, it was lit. So says that? This guy right here. Okay, 16 is the best 2K, but I agree, 15 was more fun. That's a fact. Is that cap or is that true? That's true. That's, that's true. That's, that's true. true. Guys, guys, guys made the game fun. See? Okay, a lot of the time, the reason the game is so fun is because it might be one of your first ones. And in the case of 15, it was the second year they had the park. And so, of course, that was fun. And my team was dope, of course. But the gameplay on 16 is unparalleled. Yo, in 2K15, if you got mad, you could literally just run behind the court and just launch it at the backcourt, and it would get stuck for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Not only in 16 did Pro-Am get introduced, which I thought was the most fun year of Pro-Am. Hey, cut that out, all right? Um, but park was really fun. They had those new parks in like 17. Play Now was fun. That was the year I played my team. My team was in its prime back then. So in my opinion, it's not even close. And I feel like that's the only game that challenges 11. All right, this guy's bringing up patches. You see this right here? <laughs> Let's go in a circle. I want to see you guys' favorite 2Ks. Mine is 16, clearly. 14. 17. 14. 18. 16. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? 16, bro. 16. You guys both said 16? Timeout. Facts. He's being unhealthy. My opinion matters. No, it doesn't. You're in timeout. <laughs> That's a fact. Is anyone here a stretch big? Go home. No one wants to admit it. No one wants to admit it, dude. At oh least God. half of the people have a stretch big. Carry these people. Yeah. They, they don't win without us. What's your record? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? What's your record? Huh? What's your record? What? What's your, what's your record? What? <clears throat> Can we all sit together? What what's your is your record? record? <laughs> negative, <laughs> negative. NBA 2K11 is the most underrated 2K of all time. No, what? Are you, what? Oh, you did flex today. Hold on now. I see that. Yo, show it off. Yo, show it off, my guy. how many ads? Hey, 2K11 is not overrated, but it is the most appreciated 2K ever. Is it? I think it was Troyden yesterday who tweeted saying, is it unanimous that 11 is the best 2K of all time? People thought that game is better than 16. So in no way possible is it overrated. Not only was it the second year they added my career, which is a game breaker. That was the year Mike Wang came back to 2K after going to NBA Live. Anyone who knows 2K history knows that's the reason why 2K came back. And that's why it was a go to 2K of all time. And if we're being honest, I had the crew. What else is there to say? But I mean, everything is subjective, but you're wrong. Anybody else disagree? 11 is the most underrated 2K of all time. I haven't played that far back, so I couldn't tell you. This one right here might be debatable because some of you guys might not like him. Mike Wang is the most go-to developer of all time. Why would you throw your phone? Do you want a history lesson? He left 2K, went to NBA Live, realized that game was f***ing horrible. And over the years, he kind of became the spokesperson for 2K, and every time there's a gameplay issue, we just blame it on him because he's a senior dev. But if we're being honest, if he wasn't good at his job, 2K would look like NBA Live. Dude. I mean, I like Mike Wang. You might be right. But if you like dropping games like 18, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anyone disagree with that? Mike Wang, the most go-to developer. I want to agree, because it's like, if he couldn't fix live, what can you do? <laughs> but that, yo, I don't think one guy is going to say that game. I'll be honest with you. It's going to take a whole lot of people and money. And even then, it might be out of the question. Look that way. Look that way. Look that way. Yeah, you got that? Oh, yeah, Thank you. All right, appreciate it. Okay, some of y'all might hate this one. I think my career holds 2K back. Stop throwing your phone. Oh, he said that's facts. If we're being honest, think about the work that goes into it. Not only do they have to mocap for every level, they have to design the level for every cutscene. But even once they do that, there's more work. There's the voice acting. They're paying Idris Elba and this person, that person, because it's what sells the game. I get it. But think about all the other modes that could be f***ing amazing. If they just spent that same time on that. Not saying my career shouldn't be in the game, but if we're being honest with each other, it takes a lot of time for them to make that kind of mode. If they were to take that money and put it into something else, then you would just complain that my career wasn't good. You know, we all wanted to have our player, our career, but if we was putting that same money in my team, you're gonna be like, what about me? You know, I, where my storyline at, you know? So I feel like my career, you know, I think my career is good. Do it again. You can't give <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that I felt like you felt that one. Yeah, yeah. Scenes. I remember I was like, damn, I can't wait till we have some cutscenes in a uh, PlayStation 4. You don't so have then, Netflix at home? Why do you wanna watch cutscenes? <laughs> I feel like Park took away from my career to be honest. Like, I love Park, I don't get me wrong, I don't wanna take out the game. Oh, 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 I don't wanna take oh, out the game. Oh, <laughs> like Park took away from my career in terms of like he said, like the past generations, it was just my career. We didn't have Park. So back then you're like you're grinding my career, you're actually playing it like it's fun. I think 2K14 is one of the most overrated 2Ks of all time. 
I did it for you. All right, time. once you start, what you got to say, man? That game was amazing, bro. Because it was, because <laughs> it was broke. That's why it was amazing. Because <laughs> see, you, I had like a my career build, and he was like a 95, but he had 99, three, 99 dunk, everything. He was the most overpowered. So it was funny to go in park and just boom on people and drain threes. So that's what made it so fun. It's not overrated. It's underrated. I think it's one of the better two Ks. Mm, okay. There was there was no squad spots. You had to really fight people to get it. You had to message people and be like, hey, can you hop off? I want to play with my squad. 2K14 felt like it was good because 2K13 was horrible. If we're being honest, 2K13's gameplay was, I'm yo. If 18 wasn't so bad, it would be the worst of all all time in 2K. If I was just near the rim, it would just force me under the net like this, so I can get dunked on every time. I honestly <laughs> feel like 2K14 was a good game because it was the introduction of the next gen uh, graphics. You had uh, your clans pull up and stuff like that, and you had um, you can come to the park, yeah. score, and not have to worry about records and things like that. So it was like a casual 2K where you don't really have to worry about sweats like not getting games because you're too scared to pull up on somebody with a good record or something like that. If when I go back to my 16 videos, it's scary how people just play. Like they didn't think about how good you were, it was so easy to get games. But the reason I think 2K14 was overrated is because because it was next gen, it came with way better graphics, so it had all the hype. Plus people were tired with the current gen, and so you just came off 2K13, anything is gonna look good. But a lot of people come at me saying 14 is one of the greatest. Oh my God, hold on. Stop right there. We had a lot of people talking about this park rep stuff, man. And I think the 99 rep system was the best. Does nobody else agree with me? Yeah, I agree, bro. Nobody? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't expect nobody to agree. Yeah, no. <laughs> Road to 99, baby! He thought people were going to get hyped around that. He, he thought people was going to get gassed around that. <laughs> when I go for a little long 12 minute quarter game, I want to come to some cutscenes. 2,000 losses getting to his head. Oh! Yeah. Dribbling takes no skill. <laughs> I spend hours and hours in my micro every day. Is this true or fact? He does. He he refused to come to my house yesterday because he wanted to dribble on 2KU. Like I could I could literally teach my 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 little pets how to do that. Raise your hand if you've witnessed Agent just zigzag on a pure sharpshooter. <laughs> that is that is pathetic. <laughs> no one wants to see that. All right. We would rather see people time and put together and master the craft of dribbling instead of seeing you do this. All right? If you can't do momentum, you can't make this argument. But I can't do that. iPod taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, iPod. <laughs> it was just too, it's too good to pass up. Keep it real with you, Davis. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I do not like, dri like the dribble guys. I can't stand them. You a guard, you got all the dribble moves. I understand that. But there's gotta be some kind of realism to the dribbling. Like, I'm sick of seeing the ball not touching the ground right. because you flicking the stick. <laughs> Left, right, left, right, left, right, okay. doing this. If there is going to be a skill gap, it has to be something that you learn how to do. Right. Dealing with latency is a skill. That is a skill gap. That's a fact. Right there. If we're being honest. What is? Being able to time your jump shot with all kinds of latency. Hey, raise your hand if you're a stretch break. He's a stretch break. Hey, does a hybrid count? Yo, why are y'all ashamed? <laughs> <laughs> why does nobody want to raise their hand? Ah, y'all boys! I got one more question left. I forgot what it was. I was trying to be like Davis too much. I think that it's okay for Mike Wang to change the game as many times as he needs to if it's for balance. Because a lot of people get angry when he changes it, but what, you always want to play with two bigs all year? I agree. Wow. God damn! Why did you do that? Cap, because Mike does not necessarily know what he's doing sometimes. Respectfully. I like you, Mike, a lot, for real. But if he just decides, you know what? I think that post score should just elbow people more then that change would have been made and the community would have nothing to say about it I do not think he should be making those decisions exclusively by himself All right, but remember when the community got involved and they took out winner takes ball and then we decided we didn't like that And we got it right back right, but we didn't have it for months because the community decided sometimes you gotta learn the hard way What? Yo, get him out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so if the game doesn't come finished, because it rarely ever does, then it should they should really be on top of the thing, right? And you guys play Prime, at least remotely competitively. I do. Isn't it so frustrating playing a team of like three lockdowns? Yeah. That should not that should not be the meta. But because nothing changed, hold on. He said, I, I'm a lockdown defender. <laughs> I like I like what we do. So but playing, three, yo. playing a team with three, you can't score, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do what we gotta do. <laughs> That's the whole point. Exactly. It was always that cheese pure lockdown build, and you put a specific jumper on, and they score with no problem. But yet you lock me down. As soon if you so much to sneeze on me, I'll stop moving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you know how frustrating. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> to me, it's unfair, and just like I'm agreeing with Agent when he said that there needs to be some kind of balance, because there's no way you're gonna be a pure lock and you still have the ability to score at will. You score more than me. Yeah, because they can shoot from the. I see you hit from the high. 
ass. Yeah, They're hitting from the hash. How is that going to appear a lot? Going to be able to just shoot threes with no problem. I'll give it, I, I'll oh. say, out of 10 shots, out of 10 shots, this yeah. man might have pulled. <laughs> I'm defending by something you said. <laughs> Why y'all acting like they just you literally shouldn't be able to shoot? I would open. He's going to make a shot. Exactly. You don't leave. Bro, they're shooting from the hash. I see this topic has enraged a couple of people. A lot going on Yeah, there is. Yeah. So how I feel about this? Uh, you said pure lock shouldn't be able to shoot, and you a shotgun slasher, so you should never get a steal or never get a block because you're not a defender, right? Right. right. With lockdowns, you gotta. I mean, since it's an NBA game, also compare lockdowns to in real life lockdowns like Kawhi, Paul George. Uh, they're not pure lock superstars though. You talking about superstar lockdowns? You saying the top tier players in the league, but you gotta understand you're with 95s, 96s on the park. But if you take that, what is what is, what is Paul George in a, a micro game? It was like a 96? He must be like 112. What I'm not understanding is as a lockdown, as a glass cleaner, how can you hit more full whites than I can as a pure shot creating guard? Look, I'm, my, I'm gonna my, say this, my, I'm gonna say this. If your open three is out of 87 and mine is out of 50 and I'm making more to you, that's purely timing. That's all you say, no. Ooh. 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 This guy came to my house, we we're all doing shit, and he literally went Ooh. to a computer by himself to play 2K19. This yeah, is a week bro. ago. I think that the 2K19 system with the neighborhood is better than when they had three different parks. Wait, say that again? Yes. I, I yes. get what you're getting at, yes. though. I get what you're yes. getting at, but nah. 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 Okay. Nah. nah. All right, let's be honest, because what's, what's the thing with the parks? People like three parks because they want to keep it fresh. They want to they want to rotate. If they're switching the day, like they're changing the setting of the day every hour, there's four different ones, and they have park events every other day or every week or whatever. If there's a healthy rotation of events, 19 was good, they could do better, then I would much rather have that 19 system than tr sitting there fucking waiting five years to go to Sunset Beach and then nobody's there. I don't think 2K should be a yearly launch. A lot of what they spend their time on is different ways to promote the next game. So even if it's not a useful feature, if they feel like it's gonna get people excited, they'll spend time on it because they'll sell the next game. Can't get mad at him, that's how business works. But at the same time, if it launched one time, then the same way Rainbow Six or League of Legends or any of these other games work, you could just release stuff in season. So if you have content, you're not holding off until the next launch, you could just drop that content. I can say it's like Apple. So Apple has iOS updates all the time. You can update the iOS as much as you want. But when you drop that new phone, everybody's excited about it. But you're talking about so, hardware versus software right now. That's I'm different. just saying, I'm yeah. saying like, so for 2K19, <laughs> you can do as many updates as you want. But then when 2K20 drops, everybody's going to come back to it. Hey! <laughs> Let me stop before I get kicked out. <laughs> hey, we're doing some trivia. This side is true. This side over here is false. You can walk to whatever side you feel like is the correct answer. The final like five or so people, we'll call it when I run out of questions, are gonna get 2K20. I had to grab you guys information, right? <laughs> All right, Allen Iverson was on the cover of three NBA 2Ks. True or false? Good job, y'all, because I'm going to this side. <laughs> Two, one. He's Final. Winning. God damn, that's false. What are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> God damn! No, I just, I just, I just, that game. Oh, that's the same shit. You would have won the first round. What do you mean? Okay, so you guys are eliminated for now. We're gonna run it back in a moment. I knew it in my mind, but everybody he followed me. You just gave you all, all. Oh, you would have gave me all of it? No, no I was joking. Oh, about to say. <laughs> Kevin Garnett was on the cover of NBA 2K9. True or false? You guys are correct on this side. True, Kevin Garnett was on the cover of NBA 2K9. This side is eliminated. <laughs> Spike Lee directed the story mode for NBA 2K15. True or false? He just did a joke. <laughs> Alright, this side is right. False, he, he directed the 2K16 story mode. I knew that. Last year, if you pre-ordered 2K19, the game released on September 7th. True or false? The answer is true. NBA 2K9 was the first 2K with the My Career mode. True or false? False, right? You see the way he fall in the crowd. <laughs> he might win. You never know. You guys are all correct. False. It was 2K10. Last year's 2K launch community day was in New York. True or false? The answer is true. They have one in LA, but that was a couple months before. The launch one was in New York. The side wins. You gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this one was. That's false. Ah, I think he knew though. He knew. <laughs> Davis completed high school. True or false? <laughs> this is trying me, man. You're all eliminated. Okay. <laughs> Hey, y'all all got it right. Congratulations, man. He's going, he's going to see My me. fault, man. I couldn't put that. I couldn't not put that in there. Damn. He's just lying to the masses. It's crazy. True or false? <laughs> Agent sweats in every video. <laughs> NBA 2K17 was the first 2K to introduce the double archetype system. True or false? Is he, is he got his final answer? Yes. You're right. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm out of questions. Okay. Give me like 30 seconds to formulate one. I know. Kobe Bryant was the highest overall in 2K10. He was a cover athlete and he won a championship. Kobe Bryant was the highest overall in NBA 2K10. True or false? Oh, did, wait. Is true? Looking at it now. Give him five, five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? That's what I'm looking at it now. <laughs> The answer is true. This side is eliminated. Kobe Bryant was one overall higher than LeBron James, and that's because he was a better player. Unjustified. That's false. Man, come on. What? That's false. Hey, true or false? This is for everybody real quick. Ronnie 2K is the worst community manager of all time. True. Yo, you're that's never bad. getting back. You're never going back to community day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, listen. This is what the community is saying. I didn't, I didn't tell them what to do. Yeah. That was a dope video. I'm not gonna lie, it took you guys a few questions, but then you guys got warmed up and you're getting into it. But um, I'm gonna do some shit like this in the past, in the future. Hey, thank you guys for watching the video. There's a video over here, video over there, video over here, video over there. Click on one of them. Now, that's an order. Or don't. It's up to you. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. <laughs>